All right, guys, so here's part three of the 4R 100 solenoid pack. So, uh, as you can see, I've got the pack ready to go ahead, plop on. Um, obviously, you'll be able to make the determination on the orientation because obviously it can only go in one way. Um, but down here at the bottom, you can see the connector. I've got everything uh, waterproofed in there. Um, and then you can see from here, got everything completely sealed. You can see all the fluorescent. So this is why I like using that stuff because it's very easily see if you've missed a spot. Um, you know what I mean? It, it won't glow. You can see everything's sealed up. It's real nice and nicely for it. So we're gonna get into the soldering. Uh, aspect of it here so what you want to do is now that we have everything nice and clean you can see where the two pack pieces are, need to go together you have your black connector piece already back on you already have your tips nice and cleaned so slide through all nicely make sure all your components are lined up and Usually helps if you use a little bit of Vaseline on the rubber O-rings, just so it doesn't pinch anything, doesn't uh, hurt nothing. But you can see right now everything is completely through where it needs to. Um, now this is where it's going to get a little bit challenging, okay? So some guys like to use picks. In this situation, I'm going to use a screwdriver because we need a little bit more oomph on it. So you'll see where these will slide through each one of these holes. So go ahead, take your screwdriver or your pick or whatever, just slightly press them down. There's plastic here that actually will seal up and prevent from each one of these from touching. So just make sure you get them all lined up in the hole. Be very gentle with these things because these are very um, thin. They're very delicate. You really don't want to bust them up. So make sure you're doing a nice job. There. Sometimes you might get one that's a little bit of a more difficult than the other one is, but just make sure that you don't break it. Just take your time to do the job right. All right. Here we go. Now that we have all those in a hole, what I like to do is I use stuff called. Ah, Hold on here, let me show it. Um, you want to use flux. So this is the stuff I like to use. It comes with a little needle tip, makes thing life a hell of a lot easier. So what you'll do is you just put a little bit. Oh, hold on, let me see if I can get this here in the camera where you can see. Gotta put a little bit of flux right on it. Anything on all of it. But this, you'll need flux whenever you're going to be doing soldering. You need flux. It helps create a really good solid um, union between if there's any junk that's on the components, the flux will still help the adhesion between the solder and the part. There we go. All right. Now we have that down. So this is where show you here this is why i like using the butane because i don't have to worry about um cords or anything like that if i need to i can actually use the side here which gets really hot but you just kind of go over top there to heat up that flux a little bit more and when you know that you got just while well, it's the right temperature it'll actually start to melt a solder it's exactly what we want so here we go guys Oh, 
Almost done, fellas. Now we're done. Kind of burnt the plastic a little bit, but not a big deal because there's nothing behind there. And now you can see nice, good welds. Take your pack piece here. I think that's it, right? Yeah. Move this in the right direction after you clean it up. Guess what? Rebuilt solenoid pack completely. And got it done for less than 50 bucks. So now you guys tell me why are y'all spending three, four, five hundred dollars plus shipping and tax and everything else? Something you can do for less than a hundred bucks. Know what I mean? I had a little bit, but that's about it, man. I hope you guys like this video. Please go ahead, smash the like button. If you guys have any questions, please ask. Uh, I'm probably one of the very few mechanics that actually likes to help. Uh, because I think helping you guys helps us out because maybe some of you guys don't want to do this and then you'll pay us and we can still get it done less than what other people can, but I don't know. But now you guys know how to rebuild these. I hope it's blessed you guys. Um, go ahead and let your friends know Stardust Automotive out here in Jacksonville, North Carolina took good care of you guys. Yeah, that's about it. Now I got, now that I showed you guys, the last thing I got to do is just Replace those two. They go one there and one there. But that's it. See you guys.